hi guys today i thought i would do another kind of movie-ish video i know i recently posted another movie recommendations i think but these are like my favorite fall movies i've been loving doing videos like this about movies and tv and stuff i think i'm gonna do one for christmas movies as well or holiday winter movies these are like fall related movies halloween movies things like that and these are just the ones bring me back to fall fall is one of my favorite times of the year i'm sure like everyone else on youtube but i really don't like summer i actually hate summer so when fall comes around i am so happy let's just get started a couple of them are becoming gonna be totally obvious and some I guess are more like unique to me that just like bring me back to fall but we're just gonna get into it so the first one is of course of course Hocus Pocus and if you don't watch Hocus Pocus on the first day of fall what are you even doing Hocus Pocus is hands down like the best Halloween movie ever but it's hilarious and it's funny and it's just like the best the most relatable movie anyone could watch it it's just Oh, it's so good. If you've never seen Hocus Pocus, get on that right now. Um, next is another pretty obvious one, and that is Halloween Town. As a kid, funny story, I actually was afraid of Halloween Town, the part where the guy like is on top of the building and is all like, ha 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 ha. I used to be totally afraid of that moment, but obviously I'm a grown person now, so not super afraid of that anymore. But it's such a good movie. I do like the second one, not the third one where they totally changed Marnie. Like, yeah okay Disney but the first two are really really good next is another one of my all-time favorite movies this has been like all my favorite movie lists for so long and that's you've got mail everything about that movie just grabs me it's more of like a cozy Meg Ryan I love Tom Hanks one of my favorite actors of all time I just absolutely love it it's like the OG romantic comedy I feel like that's the kind of love story I want it's so cute it's a like mix between modern and old-fashioned romance it isn't necessarily just a fall movie because the beginning is fall about autumn back to school I just love it I absolutely adore that movie I think I actually have it on DVD I like went on my way to buy it on DVD just in case I couldn't find it online somewhere next is one of my again all-time favorite movies this movie whether it's fall or not but it takes place in fall and that is stepmom stepmom is hands down like my top five favorite movies Julia Roberts Susan Sarandon yes and yes it takes place in fall so that's a big thing about it I think it takes place in like upstate New York or th something like that that. very very sad but that movie is so good whoever wrote that movie knew what they were doing it's just super good and I think that almost anyone would enjoy that movie another one that honestly freeform needs to get on this like I'm not sure if Mary Kate and Ash should have rights to all their movies from growing up if they don't let them be played because are they ever on TV no never the only ones ever on TV is it takes two and I think that's because that wasn't in their set of movies you know what I mean and that's double double toil and trouble literally probably my favorite like not maybe not hocus pocus is above that but this is like right there better than Halloween town double double toil and trouble was an amazing movie to watch as a child because you think oh my god these little kids are doing all this stuff by themselves it's so funny and cute so halloweeny and oh my god it was just amazing i think that everyone should watch it if you could find it like we need to get that movie somewhere on netflix on freeform somewhere i need to see this movie again another one that's with julia roberts is mystic pizza I think that takes place in Maine, and I'm not sure that it necessarily takes place in fall. I think it does. It might actually take place in the summer. You know, I really don't remember, but <laughs> I do know that it's a really good movie, and for some reason it reminds me of fall. It's, it's a really good movie. Definitely brings you back to a lot of like the 80s movies that you might be familiar with. And then a couple that you guys are going to be like, oh, hell yes, the Goosebumps movie. I didn't think I was going to like it, that new one, but it's good. I like it a lot, actually. I really, really enjoyed it. It's a great Halloween movie. And then also, obviously, all the episodes of Goosebumps. I think you can find a lot of them on YouTube, actually. And then also, Are You Afraid of the Dark? You want to have a sleepover with some friends on Halloween? These are the things you have to find on YouTube and watch. I love this kind of stuff. And then Casper, of course. It is so good. It's definitely, like, obviously, a classic. Watch that. It'll get you in the mood for Halloween, for sure. Another one that's definitely a fall movie is Cruel Intentions. Literally, guys. Cruel Intentions is such a good movie. Sarah Michelle Gellar, Ryan Philippe, Philippe, I'm saying that wrong. It's, it's just so good. It's dirty and slimy and very provocative, but it's an awesome like teen movie. Watch Cruel Intentions. It's definitely a fall movie, at least to me. And then Sweet Home Alabama, again, don't really know that it's a fall movie, but I do feel like a lot of the fashion again is very fall. I think that's what pulls it in for me. I just feel like the whole atmosphere, like every time you're outside in that movie, it does seem pretty fallish, so... Um, I really love that movie. I don't know, I feel like just because like the small town element of it makes me think fall. And then James and the Giant Peach. I don't know why as a kid I love that. I haven't seen it in years, but I read the book even. I love that story. I don't know why. I just always love it. It's like a, like a male version of Cinderella, kind of. It's super weird and bizarre, but 
it's really good and I definitely would consider it like a Halloween-ish movie. Mm -hmm. Couple more, Runaway Bride with Richard Gere and Julia Roberts. Runaway Bride, although again, I don't think it takes place in fall necessarily, it feels fallish to me. It's a cozy movie. It's a romantic comedy that is cozy. It just makes you want to curl up with like a blanket and a, and a hot chocolate. So that's why I like that one. And then The Breakfast Club again, I'm not sure that it takes place in fall, but everyone's clothes are kind of fallish. It takes place in school, and I love, I mean, who doesn't love The Breakfast Club? It's an amazing movie. It's a classic. I'll be watching it at least once a year for the rest of my life, I think. It reminds me of fall, so even if it doesn't remind you, like, maybe watch it and see if it does. I feel like it does. Another one, again, I don't know if it's super f actually taking place in fall. I haven't seen it in a long time, but E.T., that's a very fall movie to me. A cozy kid, like, throw throwback movie. I don't know why fall takes me... Like, reminds me of my childhood more than any other season. Ghostbusters, again, not fall at all, but I guess, like, more Halloween-y, I guess. And then, um, the Scooby-Doo movies, amazing. I don't even know if they take place during Halloween, but they're, again, like, monster movies, so I feel like they're really fun to watch during Halloween. I think they were both on Netflix last time I checked. They might not be anymore, but pretty much Freddy vs. Jr. and Sarah Michelle Gellar together, <laughs> like, you have to watch it. But it's definitely will put you in the mood for Halloween, I think. I'd say watch a lot of these movies if you haven't picked out your Halloween costume yet, too because it'll help you think of ideas, I guess. The Goonies, again, I don't know that it actually takes place in fall, but for some reason, I guess, because it's like a, like a movie I watched as a kid, it reminds me of fall, I don't know. I think The Goonies is like a cool movie to watch. It's not really Halloween-y, but it kind of feels like it's meant to be for that season. Um, and then a couple things that are like TV shows that just put me in the mood for fall as well would be the Halloween episode of Charmed, where they go back in history. It's in season three, and it's a really, really good one. It's like one of my favorite episodes, probably. And the whole beginning of it, like everything about the episode is really great. Um, also, Girl Gilmore Girls is a really fall show in general. I know that some episodes obviously don't take place in fall. A lot of them are winter, which I love. I feel like most of the episodes are very fall winter related. And of course, there's like the revival, which I should have done a video reaction to. I'd say the first season of Gilmore Girls is the most fallish and I love that that season like the first season is so good and then the Halloween episode of Boy Meets World ah that episode is so good like he killed Kenny and ah oh, Mr. Fee I just love that Halloween episode it was so weird and bizarre and didn't really make sense but it was funny um, and then the Roseanne Halloween episodes um, Roseanne is known for the Halloween episodes they definitely have marathons of the Halloween episodes during this time of year so check those out if you are around when those are on. That's the last thing on my list, so I really hope that you guys like this video. And give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe to see more from me. Make sure to hit the little bell, because I know YouTube's having some major issues. And I'll see you guys next time.